What is up, brothers and sisters? I am back here today to give you guys another tutorial specifically with Streamlabs OBS. It is something that I noticed quite some time ago, but I didn't really have time to go back, try to figure it out. And unfortunately, there's not a lot of literature online on how to deal with it. And what I'm talking about is selective recording. OK, so we're going to jump right into it right after the intro. I'm going to show you guys how to fix this problem, how to make sure that selective recording is only recording the things that you want, showing only certain things on the stream and not showing them in the recordings. However you want to do it, it's literally one checkbox. So let's get into it. Okay, guys, so now for the sake of showing you guys specifically what I'm talking about, I'm going to go ahead. <coughs> I have started a random dummy stream. OK, it's on private. Nobody can see it. This is only for the purposes of this video. Now, what I want you guys to see is that right here under the output options, the replay buffer is on. Now, I want you to notice that the use stream output box is checked. OK, and the reason that's important, you guys see here that under this image of me looking like an idiot, I have it to where it's only visible on the stream. Now, if I manually record this, this source of me looking like an idiot will not be there. It will disappear. However, for the replay buffer, which is important because that's how a lot of us, you guys, myself, that's how a lot of us capture our content, right? That's how a lot of us put up our Instagrams, our YouTube shorts. I'm going to go ahead and save this and I'm showing you guys that I'm saving it, right? So I saved it. The source is still here. So as you guys can see, this is a replay of the last 20 seconds and it's still there. The reason that's important is because you guys saw that again, right here under the output, even though we have selective recording on the replay buffer is using the stream output. We want to uncheck that. That's where our problems go away, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end the stream. All right, because I can't change it. I want to show you guys step by step how to do this. Go to the replay buffer, uncheck that. That way your replay buffer is using exactly what the settings are in your recording tab in the encoding and not exactly what the streaming does. Because here's the thing. When you tie the replay buffer into the streaming encoder, what ends up happening essentially is that even though you've told Streamlabs, I don't want this source to be recorded. I don't, I only want it for the stream. It's using the same encoder, right? And apparently it cannot differentiate what sources should and should not be streamed and which should and should not be recorded. So now we're going to go live again. We'll call this tutorial two. We'll keep it private. I will confirm and go live. The only thing that has changed, guys, is we have unchecked that box under the replay buff. Now, for whatever reason, Streamlabs OBS, they, they've not made a distinction yet. Even though selective recording is on the replay buffer, it says the use stream output. If it's using a stream output, it's going to capture all the sources that you're seeing on the stream. That's just how it is. I don't know why, but that's how they have it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to save this replay. OK, and when we save the replay now, when I double click it, guess what? The picture of me looking like a fool is gone. And that's all there is to it, guys. That's literally all you have to do. So as you can see, there's that one. And then the one before that, which was three minutes before, there it is. So if you actually look at it, this is the video that was recorded at 1719 hours. And this is the video that was recorded at 1722 hours after we started the second dummy stream. This is the video that was recorded when we were still using the stream output. When we turned it off and unchecked that box for the replay buffer, now any source that we do not want to show up will not show up. I hope that this was helpful to you guys, man. It really took me a little bit to actually figure this out, even though you would think it would be a little bit more intuitive, but it didn't dawn on me that I should turn that off. So if you are having an issue with selective recording, go ahead, make sure once again that that box is not checked off. This box will make sure that all of your sources are recorded regardless of whether or not you have selective recording toggled on it will not listen to the recording tab it will do whatever it wants according to the streaming tab that's obviously not what we want guys thank you so much for being here be safe be good be blessed and i'm gonna see you when i see you. peace